And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860-93-GAMES. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Piece it all together, right? Because, you know, I'm getting old. My memory doesn't work so well you anymore. Me both. But <laughs> there you go. We're at a safe time. We, we were talking earlier. We both can't hear. We could just sign language each other. Yeah. Do an interview with sign language. Um, you mentioned Vince Russo. Vince Russo had had his hand in the character? Uh, yeah. He, uh, uh, one, especially during that time, uh, I don't know where anybody thought that he was qualified to do that, but evidently Vince McMahon thought that he was because they're where he was. And then he just all of a sudden knew everything there was to know about every shape and form of life. Kind of like Dutch Mantel in a way. Yeah, but yeah. Dutch can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> At least Dutch has got gift or gab, right. you know. So. Right. He's not saying bro every two seconds. Did he say bro oh, to you? Like, bro, bro that plumber's bro, pretty hot. Bro. You know, the yeah. plumber goes, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I know how to make you a plumber, bro. Yeah. So, uh, no, it's uh, me and him never, we never ever seen eyeball to eyeball on, on anything for some reason. He didn't like me, and the feeling was mutual. I just, but see, I don't worry about people like that I don't think anything I lose no sleep whatsoever I've got my life I've got a wonderful life I've got a beautiful family grandkids the whole nine yards and I don't worry about the small stuff and Vince Russo is the small stuff you didn't you, on your way out of the WWE you didn't send him some sign language like you know <laughs> anything like that oh I did that while I was there you could do it right here on TV too if you want. Hey Vince, give, give him one. Give him a little sign language. There you go, no, Vince. Because, see, I don't do anything like that unless I can do it to their face. There you go, baby. That's you know, I mean. it's easy to get uh, on a radio show or uh, do the Texan and all that and tell tell somebody how bad you are and what you think of them. They're sob and you ain't no count and all that. It ain't so easy if that man's standing you about a foot from you, looking mm -hmm. you in the face. Yeah, and uh, you know him and Jim Cornette's got this big feud going, and it's like a bunch of little old fast dogs <laughs> Which back one's and forth worse? one another, and you know, unbelievable. I don't know. I just, At least Jim Cornette's I ain't got, got time. I ain't got time for that. At least Jim Cornette's got the wrestling history behind him and the, and that stuff. And you know, the, oh, Jim's a very smart man. He, but, he uh, is when Vince Russo. Yeah, but but you know, not that I'm a fan of either ones. I I, I am not. But yeah. If you were just to measure. Dicks, right? Russo probably made more money than Cornette throughout his career, so Russo's probably the winner in this whole thing. Being that he was up here, right? I mean, well, not Jim was up here too. So you think Cornette made some decent money up here? Yeah, you know, I wasn't thinking oh, yeah. about it. He probably did all right yeah, then too, he, right? He he done good. Huh. He done. He he managed to do good wherever he went. Yeah, because uh, he he's got a real good mind for the business. So explain that to me, right? Wasn't he? Wasn't he a kid, like a kid, and his mom was some kind of concession stand woman or something like that? Uh, or a rat? That's <laughs> rumors. I don't know that part of it, whether it was or not, but I, I was around him when he first uh, started managing uh, in Memphis. And uh, he was doing a good job, and he would do anything that anybody wanted him to do. He was more than happy to do it, willing to do it, and he did it to the best of his ability. So when a new guy like that, he's new, right, mm -hmm. obviously, and you're you're this established high-level talent, he comes in, do you give him a hard time at first, or is it like since he was so easy to do what you needed, he garnered your respect? Oh, no, everybody got messed with. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, it didn't matter who you was, you know. That, that's part of the fun of it, you know. Uh, when I first broke in, uh, people messed with me. Harmless jokes and stuff like that, that. You're on the road. You're with these people. They're basically your family because you're around them more than you are your own family. And, uh, you know, you got to have fun. <laughs>